So we are pro-life. We are. Pro-life. We are. Pro-life. This lady, our next speaker, Miss Terry Herring, has directed the Allied Women's Center for decades. How many years, Terry? 26 years. Might make a career of it. But we don't want you to make a career of it because it's time to put and kill Roe v. Wade. It's time to eradicate Roe v. Wade. It's time to protect all human life. And Allied Women's Center does that through their ground, their grassroots operations every single day. So please welcome with me, Miss Terry Herring. Uh, we'll do it in three minutes, Patrick. Hi. Hi. Most of you know me. I'm Terry Herring. And when it comes to pro-life, I can say I've been there and done that. And as I was listening to some of the stories today, I remember that case with Steve Branson. The young woman called me from for her. She needed an appointment. I never told her we did terminations. I didn't tell her anything. I just made her an appointment. So she drove down to San Antonio to Allied Women's Center, and man, we tried to talk her out of the termination. We couldn't. She, so at that time, the only thing we knew that we would help was an ultrasound. At that time, we didn't have Dr. Pilkington, so I called Life Choices, made the ultrasound, sent the girl over there, the babies were twin, the babies were saved, and we helped the mom for several years afterwards. So no matter where you are, life will bring you together. And uh, the great thing about our life is that we have a lot of women that come in. And by the grace of God, not mine, they think they're coming to a place that's gonna help them with what they want. But what they don't know is that God want something else for their baby. So 98% of the women that we see, over 3,000 babies in the last 26 years, have chosen life for their babies. And it is the diapers. It is the baby clothes. It is the rent assistance. It is the financial with electric bills, water, even a car that saves their baby. To most women, abortion is not a choice, but the lack of a choice. And when you give them a real, true choice, and you promise that you're there for them, they will take you upon it. Since the Heartbeat Law passed, things have been really different. We still get the woman that wants to come in and terminate their pregnancy. But it's the challenge of talking out of the abortion is gone. And honestly, I miss the challenge. I used to really love to sit there and talk women out of it. Now it's kind of easy. All you got to tell them is, too late. You're already too far pregnant. But then the real challenge comes in. What are you going to do with this girl who's crying in your office She's desperate. She feels like she has nowhere to go. She's past the six weeks, and she feels really stuck. And boy, it's a total different challenge than before. And now, it's not the victory of I saved the baby, but it's the need to help the woman. The, the scenario really changes. Because now you have this girl sitting across from you who feels stuck. And you gotta get her out of that mindset. Nobody's stuck. Because God does not leave us stuck. God helps you get out. And we just have to show these women it's a whole new era of pro-life. But we gotta show these women that we're there for them. And we need to get a lot of prayers because we now need a lot of discernment as to what do we offer the women. 
before he was real easy. Because if we save you, baby, and we really took you out of that termination, I'm going to help you with your rent. I'm going to help you with your truth to build. For six months, but now it's really harder to choose who we offer that help to. I mean, so now we need a lot more prayers from you guys because now we're really having to make the hard decisions. But, you know, God provides. Ever since the, the hard deal law came into effect, we've been getting a lot of diapers. We're getting a lot of baby clothes. We're getting a lot more women asking for help. But God's providing. So I tell people, I don't worry. The violence is there. God yes, takes care is. of us. We take care of the moms. We don't worry about what we're offering the moms because God will provide. But it takes all of you to help us provide. And I'm going to shut up because it's getting late. Thank you. Beautiful. Thank you, Terry Herring with Allied Women's Center. The chairman of the board is sitting right out here, Mr. Jim Heasel and his wife, Kathy, and their children. And uh, so thank you all for being here, and thank you for Allied Women's Center sponsorship of, the, of this San Antonio March for Life, as well as the other sponsors.